So when, 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 when there are translations that don't use the word beat in there, why don't you take those translations? So they disagree with each other. Absolutely. The translators, yes. Yeah. Oh, translators. Disagrees. Don't twist the words. Sorry, but the Quran disagrees with each other in different translations. <laughs> Are you for real? You have. The difference with us is that we have the original Arabic. Well, translate it into English, right? What does it mean? The, 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 word, the, 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 the word beat can mean, well, the word, the word in Arabic can be used. Let me just explain something to you. First of all, one sentence, what does it mean? Uh, two I'll, I'll explain to one you. One sentence. Uh, well, when you, you don't say, have when to you, go when round you, and round. You ask me a question. I want a soundbite. You, 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 you ask me a question. I want a soundbite. You, one ask, sentence. You, you ask me a question. You want it either in a yes or a no. Yes. Or I you do. want it in a one sentence. Yes. Is that how everything can be answered? No, it can't be Why? Why? Because my questions are simple. The answers may not be yes. <laughs> فتعالى الله الملك الحق ولا تعجل بالقرآن من قبل أن يقضى إليك وحيه وقل رب زدني علما That's why history is so important. So whilst the, crusade, while, while, while the crusades were going on, hold on a second, I'll, I'll do with modern times as well. Don't worry, I'll bring it to the modern times for you as well. You've not answered me about while, while the, while the, okay, while, You've turned it so while, the, while the crusades were going on, there's two verses in the Quran. Are you going to let me speak? Their throats in war and in peace. Are you going to let me speak? And Islam is in war, war against the West. Are you going to let me speak? Because you think we're a decadent society. Are you going to let me speak? And you won't answer me. Are you going to let me speak? You believe we're a decadent society. Are you going to let me speak? Yes or no? Don't ask me a series of they questions. can never give a yes or no. Oh, it's not a yes or no answer. Now, now, now you're just lecturing. You can never give a yes or no. If you answer my question, don't interrupt me. That's rude. I'm not interrupting you. Have some manners and let me speak. This is called speakers debaters corner. It's not called fighters corner. Speakers debaters corner. It's not called fighters corner. It's, fighters corner. it's, fighters corner. it's, it's only you're verbal. Not, you're not showing any manners. Here. Have some manners. You're a lot older than me, and I'm respecting Stop you. Stop hating and preaching at me. Get on with it. Get on with it. Let me answer the question. Get on with it. Let me answer the question. Get on with it. Let me answer the question. Keep saying you're Get on with it. So history. You're playing for time. History is very important. And the reason not why bad history. History is very important. Not bad history. Well, you learn from bad history as well. I have done. You learn from bad history as well. I have done. And I'm going to show you some bad history to learn from now. So while the crusades were going on, while they were holding the Bible in their under with their left arm and shooting the gun with their right arm, on my hold on a second. Why do you keep talking? Why did they go do the Spanish Inquisition? They're not my paradise. You know why? They're not my paradise. The Bible is your paradise, though, isn't it? Not, not to chop people's necks. Well, what does the Bible say about the uh, the people of? Um, the ones that were killed 300 years after for the crime. The Amalekites. Yeah. Amalekites. First Samuel chapter 15. You can't quote the Bible no. because you don't believe hold on, in hold it. Hold on a second. But you do, you do. You, you can't do. quote the Quran now. That's your paradigm. You don't believe in the Bible. That's your paradigm. How can you quote the Quran? Jesus is my paradigm. What logic is that? So when the, Jesus is my when paradigm. The Spanish Inquisition happened. That was Jesus that ordered that. He was God. He was God at the time, wasn't he? Was he God at the time? This man is insulting Jesus. Jesus. Can we have a discussion? I'm quoting your Bible. Yeah, but you've got about 20 Muslims around. Nobody's doing, nobody's doing, nobody's doing, nobody's doing, nobody's Because you're not being space. fair. They've given you a lot of space. So they justified their actions. I'm on about the Quran okay. today, I'm not history. So, so the Bible of today is different from the Bible of history? I am talking about the, the Quran today. Right. I'm talking about the Bible today as well. Right. You, know, you, you can't quote from it, you don't believe in it. Well, do you believe in the Quran? You believe the Quran believe right? I do believe the Quran. Oh, you believe, it's, oh, you believe it's the word of God? I do believe that you can beat your wife if they misbehave. It doesn't say that. I do the believe in the Quran that you can chop the neck off. I believe what the Quran says. Uh, look, if you're going to be ignorant yeah. and rude, I'll show you. I won't have a discussion with you. I'll walk away then. No, I won't walk away. Do you believe me if I show you? Can we, can we deal with the argument that you place first? You're skirting. I'll yes. say that's not the Quran. Where does it say that, sorry? In the red. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
So you didn't know it? No, I do know it. Yeah, I do know it. So when you meet an enemy, when our British soldiers go and meet the enemy in Afghanistan, they don't shoot them and kill them, do they? I'm talking about in the <laughs> They give the other cheek. The war situation is nothing to do with Islam or Christianity. No. I don't understand what your point is. Well, try and think a bit more. Well, let me answer your question you? anyway. Try and think a bit more. This is very important. Now, when people, when people talk about the Crusades, there's a continuation of that same tyranny that we see even today. No. Tony Blair is an evangelical Christian, correct? No, he is. He says no, he is. No, he's not. George W. Bush no, is a Christian. No, no. They say they are. I believe that's all. They go to the church. They pray. Going to church doesn't mean anything. When George, w. Bush, mean anything. when George W. Bush and Tony Blair met in Camp David, okay. the man who wrote the book, The Faith of George W. Bush, yeah. even though, by the way, Tony Blair denies this, the aides that were present there said in their estimation, there is no doubt that George W. Bush and Tony Blair prayed together before the Gulf War. They called it crusade. Anybody, anybody can pray together. They called it crusade. It doesn't mean anything. So, and George W. Bush said on record that it was his Christian convictions as to why he had to deal with Iraq. That's his opinion. Yes. <laughs> and, the, and many soldiers and the Air Force, if you go on Google and YouTube, they drew crosses on bombs. They drew crosses on the bombs. Ministers say the crowds on Sunday rivaled those at Christmas. The president was one of those Americans who went to church, but he spent a lot of the time this weekend meeting with advisors at the presidential retreat Camp David. When he returned to the White House, he spoke to the media. This crusade, this war on terrorism, uh, Good evening from New York. At a meeting with Palestinian leaders in June 2003, then President Bush reportedly having claimed that God told him to go to war. Mr. Bush reported as having said, quote, God would tell me, George, go and fight those terrorists in Afghanistan, and I did. And then God would tell me, George, go and end the tyranny in Iraq, and I did. Our fifth story on the countdown, it turns out that God received a rather hefty assist from Donald Rumsfeld. Newly released memos showing that Mr. Bush's defense secretary, having placed on the cover of his daily reports to the president, biblical passages and corresponding war imagery that carefully framed the mission in Iraq as nothing less than a Christian crusade. What another faith might call a jihad. Mr. Rumsfeld, apparently having left nothing to chance, not only often having hand-delivered to the White House his daily top-secret briefings for President Bush, but also having spiffed them up with the cover pages that matched photos from the day's previous day's war efforts with scripture from the Bible. Among the examples, March 17, 2003, two days before the invasion, servicemen praying their heads bowed before their rifles, quote, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Here I am, Lord, send me. Isaiah 6, verse 8. April 7, 2003, as U.S. forces launched their assault on Baghdad, a screen grab of Saddam Hussein on Iraqi TV, quote, It is God's will that by doing good, you should silence the ignorant talk of foolish men. 1 Peter 2, verse 15. April 8, 2003, one day before the fall of Iraq's capital city, an American tank passing beneath Baghdad's Hands Victory Monument in what is now part of the U.S. enclave called the Green Zone. Quote, open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. Isaiah 26, verse 2. GQ's Robert Draper reporting that at least one Muslim analyst at the Pentagon, having been greatly offended by the cover pages, others having been privately concerned about what the fallout might have been if those images had been leaked during a war against an Islamic nation. When some actually took the trouble to complain, no small thing in the Bush administration, they were told that the practice would continue because Rumsfeld, President Bush, and and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Richard Myers, all appreciated the cover pages. Let me just finish. Let me just finish. They drew crosses on bombs while they threw them at civilians in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Now, 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 let me deal with that. As Muslims, as Muslims, we're very charitable. Where are you? Because we don't accuse Jesus or the Bible or good Christians for those actions. We say, because we 
say they are a deviant yes, yes. of the religion. Not, no, we don't feel that they represent Christianity. No, 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 no. What I'm saying here is that the difference lies, you know, between you, though, yeah. and yeah. many other haters, is that, you know, is that when people yeah. behave badly, you attribute it directly to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Quran, and to Islam. That's the difference between Muslims. I don't Muslims. hate Muslims. That's the I hate many us. things that the Quran says. Like what? Like what? Beat your life. Okay. If they don't behave. What's the word used for beat in Arabic? Church. Well, church. What is the word used for beat? If it's not used a toothbrush. Okay. I'll show you. Do you know? Do you know that in Arabic? Do you know in Arabic that word that is used has multiple meanings? Are you aware of that? Here we go again. That's true, though. Twisting true. it. Twisting it. It's about Arabic grammar. That's your Quran. It's about, it. it's about Arabic really? grammar. Yes. That's by Muhammad, one of your well, readers. Are we going to have manners and have a, a discussion? I am doing. Read it. You're shoving the Quran in my read face. It. I've read it. And I've read scholarship regarding that verse it's as well. It's not true. Did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, you're not allowed to strike your wife on her face. Well, it's contradicting you're, you're not allowed to bruise her. You're not allowed to cause her any pain what at all. What is he saying there? Any pain at all. But therefore, therefore, an intelligent person would look at the Arabic word and the grammar we're in England. and they would apply that no in, we're in, in the context of the knowledge no. of Islam. Yeah. But if you're which, like yourself... Which means that you twist everything. If you're like yourself... This man twists what everything. What you will do is you will look for the translation that fits your... No, it's your Quran! That, that, that fits your yeah. predisposition your about Islam. It's your Quran. But the reality Are you denying is, your Quran? That's in English. That's not Quran. Oh, so it can't be read in English. That's the translation of the Quran. Can it be read in English? The translator's words. It can't be read in English. Do you, know about Do you understand what I'm saying? Translator's words. Whenever you say this thing and they can't answer, oh, it's not in Arabic. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Allah. La do you know Arabic? I'm just asking you a question. I don't need to. Do you know the grammar of Arabic? No, I don't need to. You don't need to. Okay. Yeah. So when, the, when, when, when there are translations that don't use the word beat in there, why don't you take those translations? So they disagree with each other. Absolutely. The translators, yes. Yeah. Oh, the translators. Disagrees. Don't twist the words. Oh, the, the Quran disagrees with each other in different translations. <laughs> Are you for real? You have. The difference with us is that we have the original Arabic. No, translate it into right? What does it mean? The, 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 the word B can mean the, 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 the word B in Arabic that is used. Let me just explain something to you. First of all, one sentence. What does it mean? Uh, Two I'll, I'll explain to you. One sentence. Well, you, you don't say, have when to when go you, when round you, and round. You ask me a question. I want a soundbite. You, you want? You want? You ask me a question. I want a soundbite. One ask, sentence. You, you ask me a question. You want it either in a yes or a no. Yes. Or I you do. want it in a one sentence. Yes. Is that how everything can be answered? No, it can't be. Why? Why? Because my questions are simple. The answers may not be. Play with a woman in the mosque. There's something else. So we're moving on to another topic. Yeah, we're covering the mosque. Okay. So that's why the can't you pray with a woman? Is this the behaviour of a Christian? Mosque? I'll tell you why. Is this behaviour of a Christian. You think every man is a sexual predator? So? Yeah, the Catholic Church proved that. They were wrong as well. Yeah, they proved that. They were wrong. You're correct there. Under the machine gun, Kelly. If a woman, bow, if a woman, if a woman bows in front of you, yeah. right in front of you, she's in blind. I'm asking you an honest question now. She's Where would your eyes go? <laughs> be closed. We're closed when we pray. I close my eyes when I pray. Any man with any testosterone in his body, get a grip on yourself. Most, most men are controlling yourselves. But most men, you're insecure. You've got a problem. Where eyes will go. You've got a problem. But you don't want to be honest about that. You've got a problem. Islam is about being honest and it's about being practical a woman bowing right in front of a man Allah knows that we are weak and that our eyes will go in places where they're not supposed to go and the very essence of the prayer which is to have the con concentration and the connection with Allah when you're praying to Allah you're looking at a woman so for her own so it means a woman is more powerful than Allah a woman is more powerful than Allah what nonsense I'm going to end the discussion it's very nice meeting you a woman is more powerful than Allah. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, all right. Was it that best? <laughs> <laughs>